What's up everyone? I'm the Nature Hacker and this is your world. So right now I'm going to show you a brand new type of battery. It's called, well, it's a biological fuel cell. Um, and what we have here is we have a voltmeter with the negative lead hooked into uh, some ascorbic acid, vitamin C, in some water, as you can see. There's some on the bottom, that's the white stuff. Um, and over here, we have a sheet of paper folded into a basically a funnel shape with some hydrogen peroxide in there. So what I'm going to show you is that when I hook up, when I have the negative lead in a, a reducing agent and the positive lead in an oxidizing agent, and I bring these into contact with each other, uh, this is a membrane, a, a membrane here, so it's going to allow some ions to transfer between here, but you know it's not going to allow them to mix very much. But what you'll see is that we're actually going to get a voltage. What we have right here is zero volts. And when we take this, we got our lead in there. We got some hydrogen peroxide in the bottom there. Hopefully, I haven't poked a hole in it. Hopefully. So we got that. Let's put it in and see what happens. Oh, we're getting something. Just a little bit. We have it in there right now. But, um,. Let's try again. Yep, we're definitely uh, definitely getting a voltage. So you know it equalizes pretty quickly and stuff. This is obviously a very subpar uh, iteration of this, but uh, you know I'm just going in and out and out. Oh, well, I think it's mixed up a little too much right now. But what's happening is we're burning the fuel. We're using this hydrogen peroxide to oxidize this. And when you put these two in contact with each other. Uh, there is a um, there's a potential energy uh, there's a potential energy there and there's a difference in oxidation states between the vitamin C and the hydrogen peroxide so the electrons from the vitamin C this is electron rich that's why it has a negative probe <laughs> electrons from here are going to want to go to the um, hydrogen peroxide because there's less electrons here so the electrons want to go from here to here and so you have a potential energy and what's a potential energy as far as electricity, electrons, a potential electron, a potential energy of electrons, it's called a voltage. So that's exactly what we're doing is we're creating a voltage by putting things that are electron poor along with things that are electron rich together. And our probes here, um, this is the, <clears throat> well, this is not, this is what's called a flow battery. This is not, you know, a normal battery where this metal there is the electrode. These are just current collectors. So really the anode is the vitamin C and the cathode is the hydrogen peroxide. So I just want to do a quick and dirty little experiment. I had predicted this would happen, obviously, if I'm doing this experiment. But um, I just wanted to do the experiment so I can prove to you and prove to myself, really, that this does work and that this is a viable way to do a battery. So what does this mean? Well, this is how the body works. Here we have the blood, the oxygenated blood. Oxygen is an oxidizer coming from the lungs. The lungs keeping the blood full of oxygen, full of oxidizing power. This is the cells. The cells, uh, they burn carbohydrates, you know, and other, you know, things. But really, ultimately, everything that you eat burns down into hydrogen ions. And now hydrogen ions, yes, are acid. Acid are hydrogen ions. So you think that, oh, acid could work. I could just put acid in here, but you would be wrong because an acid is hydrogen ions, but also it's balanced perfectly with oxidizers like chlorine. Um, you know, you get HCl, that's hydrochloric acid, that's hydrogen ion, which is a reducing agent, plus chlorine, which is an oxidizing agent. So in reality, it is neutral. Okay, so we want somehow the body, well, it uses active pumps to pump hydrogen ions out of the cell into the uh, cytosol, and that is what you have in the body. You have a battery, okay, and the battery is the oxygenation, oxygenated blood in combination with a hydrogen ion reducing agent. So this is just a, a really dumbed down version of how the human body works. And as you can see, we can generate a voltage from it and we can run batteries on the principle of biological power. Thanks for watching. I am Nature Hacker. Let's do work. Oh my goodness.
ladies and gentlemen, even better than the ascorbic acid and hydrogen peroxide was acid base. Just simply acid base. I did salute phosphoric acid, salute uh, potassium bicarbonate. Um, I put the potassium bicarbonate in the paper funnel. I put the phosphoric acid in the inner cup. I put the <coughs> positive electrode, the red electrode, in the bicarbonate. I put the black negative electrode in the phosphoric acid because I thought the acid was going to be acting as a reducing agent when, wait, I put in, here, I put, yeah, I put the black electrode in the acid because I thought the acid would be um, a reducing agent, but in fact what happened was the voltage was negative, which means that the bicarbonate was negative, actually negative, and the acid was positive. Um, so, wow, this is even bigger, this is even more amazing. All you have to have is acid and base, it seems like. It might not even need a oxidation reduction reaction, it might just need an acid base reaction, which makes sense because in the body, um, the end product of respiration is CO2, which is when these H plus ions that are released by the cells uh, react with the bicarbonate ions in the red blood cells which releases CO2 and obviously creates a voltage, which no one else seems to know. Anyway, so that's just a uh, little aside that this can be even cheaper and easier than hydrogen peroxide and vitamin C. You can do um, just an acid and a base separated by a semi-permeable membrane. So, as the acid reacts with the base, you get <coughs> electric power generation. You get a voltage which you can use to run a car, whatever you want. It's a battery. It's a flow battery that uses simple acid and base. It's how exactly how the body works. So anyway, <coughs> thanks for watching. I'm your new professor. Let's go do this.